when you see, Miss Lou, when you see it, whether they feel good, whether they make you mad, whether they make you angry, whether they just don't make sense, I don't understand. God is still up to some of my people. You got to stop putting God in a box. God, God is not going to do uh, 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 this like that, that, that. Sometimes God do this and then he back up and then he go back again and he start over again. Sometimes he reverse, sometimes he go fast, sometimes he jump on it, sometimes he break it, sometimes he punch it. Look, God gonna get what he say, uh, it, it says. <laughs> you gotta know, if God spoke to you something in your life, you gotta know that he is gonna make it happen. We're gonna be back in Zechariah. Let me read Zechariah chapter two. Y'all turn y'all books. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to start at verse 1 and we read till 13. I lifted up mine eyes again and looked, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whether goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and, and another angel went out to meet him. And said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as a town without walls, for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, said the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and, I, and, and will be the glory in the midst of her. And this is what we're going to be focusing on 6 and 7 tonight, y'all. Ho, ho, come forth. And flee from the land of the north, said the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, said the Lord. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwelleth with the daughters of Babylon. For thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory had he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughters of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee, and the Lord shall inherit Judah, his portion, in the holy land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. Father God, thank you, dear Lord, for that scripture. Thank you, Father God, for the prophets of old, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for giving us revelation. Thank you, dear Lord, for, Father God, speaking to us tonight, Father God, a rhema word, an on time word, Father God. So, Father, I ask that you would decrease, dear, I mean, you would increase, dear Lord, and that I would decrease, Father God, greatly. So, Father God, take over, fill me up, give the people, Father God, a spirit to hear what the Spirit is saying, there, dear Lord. And I want to say all these things in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. All right, thank y'all, brothers. Thank y'all, brothers. I just, uh, the Lord wanted to confess me some tonight, you know. As, as ministers and as teachers, you know, it's not easy coming up here, you know. We get a little nervous, we get a little stressed out, get a little anxiety, you know. It's not easy coming up here, y'all. You know, the Lord give us wisdom, the Lord give us guidance to make it look like it's easy, but it's not, you know. And because it's not easy, and because the Lord speaks through us and, 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 and fills the people up, you know, he's going to attack us. And, you know, for years now, you know, I've, uh, I've, I've dealt with uh, bouts of anxiety, you know. Uh, Minister Brian did a sermon, you know, uh, a few times back about anxiety. It hit home, Kent, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, to, to, to be, to be uh, upfront, to be uh, completely, completely transparent, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you haven't dealt with anxiety, you know, be careful, you know. Be, don't be uh, too insensitive when somebody say, I have some anxiety. You know, normal anxiety is all right, you know what I'm saying? That, we're going to experience that. But when it becomes uh, debilitating, when it becomes too, too much to bear, you know, when, when you have some malfunctions of the body, you know, when something is not right, when you just not having something, not, something is just not correct, Brother Lincoln. And, and today, I, I dealt with some bad anxiety today, y'all. Yesterday, 
bad anxiety out of nowhere. I mean, terrible anxiety. And, and today, you know, I, uh, it, 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 it fought with me. It, 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 it jammed me up and, and it, it scared me to try to get, but I say, you know, I'm gonna still come up here. And you know, I want y'all to be praying while I'm up here so I can make it, Malvo. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be praying for me, you know, cause you know, you know and that, that stuff is real. You know, not only, you know, uh, uh, from a physical standpoint, something going wrong with your body, but you know, the enemy sends, you know, spirits of that stuff around, you know what I'm saying? To, 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 to uh, 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 increase the, the attacks that you already have in your normal body, you know? So when somebody's saying that, you know, uh, they have an anxiety, you don't be so insensitive, because look, you don't know what they did. You, let me tell you something, I, I know. Matter of fact, right now, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it, but you know, we still gonna get through it, y'all. But be praying for me, you know? And also, if you got questions about it, Come talk to me, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Lord ain't, the Lord ain't allow this stuff in my life to where I gotta keep it to myself and I can't counsel people because I know exactly what's going on with your body. I know how it is, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I just wanted to share that the Lord wanted me to uh, uh, free myself, should I say. You know what I'm saying? Not only free myself, but you know, confess, you know. So sometimes if you're dealing with something, you know, as Hebrews, sometimes we don't share what's really going on inside of us. You know what I'm saying? Until we lash out, until we shoot up the whole parking lot, until we rob people, you know, until we, you know, we, we just, 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 just flash out, I can't go hard, you know what I'm saying? Just, just knock out people, just go, you know, do all kind of crazy stuff. But, you know, through uh, 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 dealing with counselors and the Lord giving me wisdom, you know what I'm saying? It's better to confess. I'm, 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 I'm having some problems. You know what I'm saying? Talk to somebody that, confide, that you can confide in. Somebody that's going to spread, Minister Sam, that's not going to spread your mess, that's not going to clown you or nothing like that. Make sure that you can trust him with that information. Amen. And I'm, I'm just talking about anxiety tonight, but I, it's a plethora of things, yes, my people. Sir. All across the board, especially in this uh, day and age. They got some stuff going on, man. You know? Let him know his time is short, and you know, uh, 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 of course he's going to increase his tax. Of course he's gonna do more, especially to the people of God. And now that Putin say we the people of God, oh my goodness. You know, and I'm gonna give you a little uh, 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 snapshot into my sermon, you know, while, while we talking about Putin, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be talking about Providence, Malvo, a little bit later on. And we're not gonna get too deep because it, it could be deep, you know, I had to dig deep to understand it before I could share it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But wouldn't it be like the Providence of God? to make one of the most powerful men, uh, uh, whether he hated or, or loved, to say that we are them people. Our Jesus is what? Black. How many times he said black in there? That man said black, I shoo. That man said black, man, so many times, Lord. But you know, wouldn't it be like the providence of God for somebody like that to co-sign what we've been hearing in this Pulpit. That that goes to show how important what's going on from this pulpit, ain't it? We've been we've been doing this what since sixteen, y'all. And now Putin, Putin said that. Man, providence of God. But let's start, y'all. Y'all be still praying for me. Uh, Zechariah, he 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 was one of the minor prophets, and he was sent to to uh, 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 encourage and lift up the people that were coming out of Babylon. They, they had been freed, they had been set free uh, 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 from the Babylonian ca ca captivity of Syria by uh, uh, the Persians, the Persians top, top of the Babylon and made them release uh, uh, us from captivity to go back to Jerusalem and build the second temple. Right. Not only uh, they got released, but they, they paid for it. They paid for the trip, they paid for the stuff and everything. That's how, I, that's how good God is. God gonna make somebody that don't know nothing about it, even your enemies pay for your stuff. On, that's something. <laughs> even your enemies. But at, at this time, they, they, they're being released. They say it was about 40,000. And if y'all wanna know a little bit more about the, uh, uh, the background, the other things about it, you know, just come talk to me in person. I gotta get to the, the task at hand right now. But they was released. They released, and about forty thousand uh, 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 quickly got out of got out of that. They 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 used wisdom, and they understood that oh, this is my time to flee. So I'm going. I'm getting out of that camp. You know what I'm saying? So they say it was around forty thousand. But <laughs> they had. They said they had even more that stayed behind. 
They say they had even uh, maybe double, triple, you know, up to, up to, up to hundreds of thousands that stayed behind. They didn't flee. They didn't uh, uh, leave captivity. And we're going to find out some reasons why they didn't leave captivity, Ms. Mary. And in verse 6, he, 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 we can see God knowing how he made us, knowing how we are as uh, 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 children of the light when they get uh, stuck in places of darkness, when they get attached to things of darkness, when they get uh, 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 too comfortable with things of darkness and people of darkness, how they can change, how they could become from uh, uh, children of God to, 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 to enemies of God. Not only enemies of God, but be comfortable living in their mess. Be comfortable doing the things that they learned while they was in Babylon. Hint, hit America. You, 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 we, we trying to teach you how things used to be. We trying to uh, give you information how, 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 how we used to live as people of God. But we've been stuck under this Babylonian captivity. The second Egypt, y'all, America. You know? So this is what God is telling uh, 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 through the, the prophet Ze Zechariah. He is saying, and which brings me to point five is my first point for tonight. And it says, come forth. In the verse 6, it says, Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, said the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, and said the Lord. Some translations at this beginning of verse 6, it says, Ho, ho. And the only thing that means is, listen up, listen up. All the, and, uh, and some other translations just says, up, up, up. Some of the other translations say, Alas, alas, get out of there. But I, 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 I can see the God, uh, uh, you know, when somebody's not paying attention, when somebody's not a uh, focus on what you got to say, what you do? Listen. I can hear the mamas in here with the little children. I see it all the time in the foyer. Listen. This is what God is doing to us. The people that still in captivity. Listen. Listen. This is what God is telling to us. Listen, get out of that cap get out of that Babylonian system. Get out of those things that uh, are oppressing you. Get out of those things that are uh, keeping you down. These are, get out of this place that is, 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 is. you are free. It just brings me back to enslavery. I mean, you know, a lot of people, we were free by the, uh, the, the, the proclamation. Yes. Yes. But a lot of them were still in captivity in Minnesota Sam years and years before they was released from captivity. Before, should I say, before they, they, they released themselves. Before they got the word. And so he's saying, come forth. And all I can see is like also, you know when somebody's learned how to swim, when somebody's learned how to ride a bike, they, they, they father or their mama, they be like that, come on, come on, come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. And this I can see what God is, come on, you got it. You can take that first step, get out of that system, come on, come on. Come forth. Come forth. Not only to get your attention, Miss Cynthia, but come forth. Not only come forth, you see, you, 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 you have more uh, uh, confidence in this thing, confidence in the thing that you are trying to do, that, the, the, that your dad is looking at you. You have more confidence in riding your bike, more confidence in learning how to swim when you see your dad or your mama doing like this. Because you know and you're going to trust that if I fall, they're going to be right there to catch me. They believe in me more than I believe in myself. So this is what God is telling to the people that's still stuck in captivity. Come on, I'm here. You're not coming to no, 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 no uh, 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 fake thing. You're not coming to no thing that don't make no sense. You're coming to the God of everything. Not only the God of everything, but the God that has turned his face towards you. The God that uh, 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 in this dispensation shows more love towards you. His heart is back towards you. He's not coming with a heart of, of judgment, but he's coming with a heart of love. I love you. In this, in this further scripture, in this, in this further down, you're going to see he, he going to call us the apple of his eye. I, I wish I could get to tonight, but I can't get to tonight, y'all. <laughs> as a teacher, as a teacher, sometimes we got to jump over mountains to get to other mountains. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to get to that mountain, but I got to tackle this mountain. You know what I'm saying? So I have to have restraint. I have to have some, 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 uh, some hold on, some get back. I'm telling myself, you know, shall I come home? Shall I, shall I, shall I, homie? But this is what God is saying. Come forward, my people. Come forward, come forward. 
And also, uh, what, what, what we can look at this word, because as I look, Sister uh, Deaconess Aula and Deacon Malvo, when I looked at this word, and as a teacher, too, I'm giving y'all some little nuggets and some little game. As a teacher, sometimes we look at a word, and it don't leave us. I be sleeping, all I can see is come forward. What do you mean about that? Come forward. Come forward. I couldn't, I couldn't let it go, Deacon Carl. I couldn't let it go. That come forward was just ringing in my head. So I said, what does that mean? What is God trying to tell us with come forward? But he's also making a declaration. To, to, to everybody that's hearing this on the scripture, to everybody that's looking, my people are going to come forward because I see that. Not anybody saying come forward. Not no Joe Blue on the side, no, no fake uh, prophets, not no fake God. The God, the real God of this Bible is saying come forward because it's dec I'm declaring it. And because I'm declaring it, it's going to happen. Because he is declaring it in the scripture, it's going to happen. So you got to know when you read the scripture, and you're declaring what the scripture is saying, it's got to happen because the God of this Bible is saying that stuff. So when he's saying come forth, it got to happen, Miss Lynn. It got to happen. You got to act right. Even if you're trying to step your foot, going to start doing like that. Even if you're trying, you're going to start moonwalking backwards, whatever. You're going to come forth. You're going to come forth. <laughs> you're going to come forth. <laughs> you're going to come forth. Oh, man. I'm out of breath already, y'all. <laughs> but, but, he, but, but Sam, he's not going to only say come forth as in come unto him. But he, what, what, what is he saying come forth to? Yeah. You know, you know, you could tell somebody to come, come here. Vien why, my, my, my people? Come see, come see. That's right, Kip. I said it right. I hope I ain't cursed. But it, <laughs> y'all forgive me. <laughs> I, I'm, lear I'm learning French from Minister Phil, so. <laughs> and anyway, I got to watch what I see. But. He's telling them to come forward for some reason. Yes, sir. Come forward, I want to do something for you. Come forward, I want to show you something. Come forward, you got to come out of there because there's a better way. The grass is green on this side. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Uh, but what, what do we have to come forward to? You see, well, first of all, let me deal with why they stand behind. You know, we we talking about, you know, returning her and returning home to Jerusalem one day, uh, the real Jerusalem. Amen. Whether the map see is right there or that way, the real Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah. The one the one the Bible talk about. You can make it wherever you want it to make it. Yeah, so <laughs> well, we're laughing. <laughs> That's another thing, y'all. But anyway, why are they not coming forth? Some of them like that Babylon system. Some of them like living like this. Lincoln, some of them like living dirty. You know what I'm saying? Some of them like being under this. Some, some people like, 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 sometimes, you know, and I, I just hear, I've never been to prison, but I, I talk to cats and I hear cats about the testimony. Sometimes brothers like going to prison. Sometimes they do crimes to go back to prison because they're so used to the prison, so used to the structure and the organization, uh, 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 even though it's wrong, well, Prison is right, but they, they do some wrong things in it because of corruption, money, and all that stuff. That's another story, too, in itself. But some people like that system. Some people like the evil. Some people like to be in their mess. They don't like being clean. They don't like being righteous. They like a life of unrighteousness. And this is what God is telling them, come forth. Y'all been in that bed? Y'all, 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 y'all. Some of them want to stay there, but some of them are stuck unwillingly. Some of them are stuck, uh, 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 and they don't know that they are stuck because they're so used to the system. You know, you could be so used to stuff, something, and doing some wrong things that don't, it don't even look wrong, but it look right to you. You know what I'm saying? Some things that we are doing when we uh, learned in America, my people, Learned under this system, learned under this Egypt, we don't even think is uh, 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 wrong. But if you study this Bible, if you look at this Bible and you talk to the, uh, uh, how they live and find out how they live, you can see that something is not right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some things in my life, see, I didn't know that I needed help till I looked in this word. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know that something was wrong with me until I looked at these scriptures, Ken, and I was like, oh man, I need some help. When I started reading the scriptures, I said, there's no way. I got past the second, third one. I said, there's no way I could fulfill this on my own. I tried, man, I said, I tried. But I fell every time. 
But until I realized I needed help and I needed Jesus to fulfill these things in me through these scriptures by his Holy Spirit, then I changed. And, 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 and as we're going to get further along, there's some things that God wants you to do. You're waiting on God, but he's waiting on you. Amen. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, but there's some things that God wants you to change. And been on your, been on your, your case to change. Yes. It's true. You're waiting for him to deliver you, but he's saying, <laughs> you do it. I give, you, I give you everything uh, uh, you need to get off of this stuff. I give you all these things and I give you all the power by his Holy Spirit and I give you all the scriptures and I give you all the prayer warriors in your life to be delivered from something and you're not taking advantage of that. You're wondering why it's not happening, but God challenging you. Do it, my friend. Thank you. Do it. Thank you, Lord. Do it. Why else? Why else? They like hanging with the people of Babylon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, I remember, look, look at me, I, I, I didn't grow up in the hood, I wasn't a gangster B, I didn't sell no dope, but I did some things, but I, I wasn't in the hood, I didn't grow up in the hood, Kent, I didn't grow up uh, 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 in poverty, suffering, I didn't, know. I, no, but, I, I hung around them people though, <laughs> Kent, well, I was hungry. I was hanging. I was around. Hey, you doing what? I'm coming, my brother. Hey, I remember a guy, man, that blessed us. That's why I got so much respect, and I, we, we praying that the guy would save him. I remember we came back from the club, Minister Sam. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning, and he was a rough cat. He was a rough cat. The clubs I went to was too soft for him. Yeah, he was a rough cat. But anyway, <laughs> brother Josh, he come drop me home at 2 o'clock. He, he, he told me like this, Ms. Lynn. I'll never forget what he told me. He looked at me. He said, where I'm going, you can't come. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Lou ran it, boy, I was mad. I said, I'm not gangster enough to come with you. <laughs> but inside, I knew what he was going to do. Yeah. And it was another level. And, and, and. By the sovereign grace, by God's uh, providence, yeah. what we're going to talk about, on, God gave that man wisdom to know that if I went with him, I might not come back. Yeah. Might not come back, Malvo. Right. And that's why I got respect for that man. That man, look, that man saved my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, God can use, you know, I, I don't want to say evil. I'm going to say evil for some other uh, uh, points, but God can use some evil things to get you where he needs you. You know what I'm saying? Eh? So, man, I'm chasing rabbits. Hold on, I'll get back, y'all. Yeah. But look, I wasn't gangster enough, y'all. But let me tell you something. The appeal of that life draws a lot of people that's not about that life. The appeal of that life makes people that were not gangsters become gangsters. I see these cats. I see them coming here. I see them at funeral. I see them all over Lafayette, and you look at them. You ain't about that life, boy. I can tell that. You're faking. You're a CD gangster. <laughs> Only time you gangsters on CD. Hey, kid, kid, you know them cats. Because look, as soon as you do that, oh, Lord. You know what I'm saying? They got them cats that like that life. But the appeal, the appeal, Miss Irma. And can you imagine the appeal of the Babylonians in the day? They had all of this, they had all of that, they had a, a plethora of this, and they had all of that. So why wouldn't they want to leave <laughs> the appeal <laughs> of that life? And that, that's, we just talking about gangsters and stuff. I'm talk, we could be talking about anything else, prostitution. We could be talking about uh, uh, white collar crimes. We could be calling, talking about fraud. We could be talking about anything that is ungodly, unrighteous, you know. As people, what we choose first? We choose Barabbas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we choose uh, darkness instead of light. So this is what God is telling them to come forth out of. Get, get, get your tail out of there. Get, you, know, you know, sometimes when you see your cat or your dog doing something, they're not supposed to, get, get your tail. You know you're not supposed to be in there. This is what God tells you. You know you're not supposed to be in them systems. Look, look, even if you're not 
following Christ, even if you're not following with this Bible and what we're preaching from this pulpit, you could know that you are not made for them things. Because I, I know when I was doing them things, I said, this ain't me, but I'm going to show act like it. <laughs> you know? I'm going to show, hey, show act like it. We can act like it, I kept. No, oh, yeah. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you that pressure come, boy. Look, I tell you, boy. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to the bathroom, y'all. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just come get me tomorrow. <laughs> but also what God is saying uh, 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 to come forth from out of, he, he's also telling you to come forth to some good things. That's right. That's right. I'm telling you to come forth not to, not to go be, in, you, 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 like, like, like my partner told me, you know, I, I'm not going to let you get into some bad stuff to get into some worse stuff. That's it. That's it. This is not what God is telling us to come forward out of some bad stuff and to, come, to get into some worse stuff. He's telling them that you, 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 you're coming forward, you're following me, you, 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 you follow my lead, you, 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 you're responding to my telling you coming forward, you're listening to the declaration, but you are coming into a better light, a better life. Let me tell you, I didn't know I was free until I got saved. I didn't know I was uh, 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 trapped in some prisons of life until I got saved, until I looked back on how, how I attached and how, how hooked I was on certain things. I didn't know I was locked up. But until I, I, I was shown free freedom, until I was shown liberty, yes, until I was shown this is the better life, I, 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 I could deal with things with, with knowing God got my back. I, I, I could, I could like, 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 like the, the, the musicians was talking about, like they were singing about, I, I could have victory in Christ. I could have it. This is what God is telling us to come to. You can, you can have victory, my people. <laughs> not only, not, you, you can have everything that you're trying to chase after with justice, all the money, all the fame, all the this and that, you can have that knowing Christ. Ain't nothing like having stuff knowing Christ. Ain't nothing like having stuff and, and you're living right. Yeah. Ain't nothing like having yeah. stuff and you, you know you ain't uh, uh, stole something. You know you ain't jacked nobody. Right. You know you ain't did no some illegal things. Ain't nothing like that. Because look, you're going to be sleeping with one eye. Yes, you, think, you think I got anxiety. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing like... <laughs> ain't nothing like sleeping in your bed. You hear, you, you're hearing everything pass by Miss Lou and you... Is this the night? Is this the night that the cops gonna break, gonna, gonna, gonna bust it and, and, and lock me up? Is this the night that they gonna come jack me where I jack them from? Is this the night? This is what he's telling you to come forth from. But what, what is it? You don't know love until you know the love of God. <laughs> the love of Christ? Look, it, 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 it. It is deep. I, I pray the Holy Spirit can give you a uh, 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 discernment and understanding, Brother Kyle. God love you, man. Yes, sir. The fact that you're in here, the fact that you are coherent, the fact that you're in your right mind, the fact that you can do this with your fingers, you can do this, you focus with your eyes, that's love. <coughs> yeah, let me tell you something. God love you. Yes. Not only love you in the present, but he loved you before the foundations of the world. Before you were formed, before you even thought of, I'm talking about ages before that, God was thinking about you. Yes. Not only thinking about you, but he was thinking about how he was going to make you. He was thinking about what city he was going to put you in. He was thinking about what, how your parents going to look. He was thinking about the city, the town, the, 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 the college, the, the high school, the shoes, everything. He was going to think about your hair, your cut, your eyes. He thought about that before the foundations of the world. Now, if that ain't love, I don't know what you're talking about. Because I know somebody that's present. I, I know, I've, I've heard of people that's present, and all they think about is that girl or that woman, and they, you can tell somebody that got some love for somebody else because that's all they talk about and that's all they think about. You could be saying something else, they just sit in there for nothing. No way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Christ, <laughs> before the foundations of the world, he knew your name. Amen. You think your mama named you? God been had that name. <coughs> James, Carl, Frankie, us, BB. He knew that nickname before we started calling you that, BB. He knew that, man, before the foundations of the world, man. He loved you because he gave you this. <laughs> Minister Sam, he gave you this. 
I sometimes read a couple of verses in the scripture, I, I gotta go put it down, it's just too much for me. How, how, could, a, how, how could somebody be writing this and, 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 and be in the present and the future at the same time? When I read this Bible, it talk about me. Not only talk about me as a believer, as somebody that accepted Christ, but also as a Hebrew. <laughs> he called his Hebrews the apple of his eye. The daughters of Zion. He loves you, my people. Now, in this day, judgment is over. The 400 years is over. <laughs> Just think how much God loves you now. He, he, he loved you when, 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 when he it, it was in judgment, when he, when he handed down judgment to you. But now that judgment is over, I can love you like I really want. I can do to you what I'm really capable of. I could, I could, I could, I could, uh, 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 uh. Wash, wash upon you all that's in uh, my, 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 my body, my, my, my attributes, everything that I am, my glory I could bestow upon you now. I don't have to hold it back. <laughs> this is what he's telling you to come forward to. This is what, he, what he's telling you to come forward to. <laughs> I, got, I got it for rent this. I don't know why I put this kid. I was just thinking, how can you resist? And that's, that's just a little piece, man. As I say, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing justice to what, you know what I'm saying, is in this book. I'm doing a little corner, a little, I'm doing a little corner, a little comma. That's it, that's it. And I'm, re and I'm, I'm studying in my, my little lap. Well, I was studying at this time. <laughs> Might have been in my truck, I don't know. And I, I just put it in parenthesis, Melville, I see, how can I resist? How can I resist such a, 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 a sweet guy? <laughs> How could, I, how could I resist a, a, a good savior like that, Chavis? How can I resist? How can I resist? If we look also, uh, and I thought I wouldn't go have enough, y'all, but look, y'all pulling it out of me. Oh, I bought my rags to do like them, pre them preachers, huh? <laughs> how, you, how you do it, double? One, one eyebrow? I'm trying not to cut up Daphne. <laughs> Daphne, I could feel you want me to do it more, but you know, I could feel, behave. All right, all right. I'm only doing it because you say so. All right, in, in, the, in, the, in the, let's see, I want to say the B part of this verse six, he also says, come forth and flee from the land of art. <laughs> Sometimes you got to flee from stuff. That's right. you, ain't even gotta, you ain't even gotta look back, you ain't even gotta think about it, just go. Yeah, right. You know, God give us Nikes, God give us Air Jordans, God give us Adidas for a reason. Yeah. And look, y'all Hebrews can run fast, y'all quick. Because guess what, when, 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 I know I'm not gonna say that now. Nah. I'm not gonna say that, I'm doing good, God. I'm doing, I'm behaving myself. But there are some things that you gotta flee. You can't even ask no questions. You can't even look back. You can't even think about where you're coming from. You just got to go. I'm not saying this. God is saying this. Flee. Flee. Look, look, look. Don't even, don't even look back. You just look for that exit door and you go. Amen. And, 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 and a lot of us want to, uh, 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 Brother Josh, a lot of us want to find our stuff before we move. <laughs> and, and, and planning is, is good. We need to be planning. We need, planning is uh, beautiful. You need to be planning that, Frank. You need to be planning. You need to have a plan. But sometimes you got to put that plan aside and go. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> you, you ain't got to find out what's going on. Not, not. To my administrators, this is not a, a, a slap towards y'all. <laughs> administrators, we love y'all. We need administrators, and I, I respect administrators. And this, this church runs smoothly like that because we got great administrators. Let me tell you something, because cause, cause BB know, because cause I, I might think of stuff, I might stuff like that, but look, we need administrators to apply what's going on in my, my little, uh, 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 let me see, amazing mind, beautiful mind, uh, 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 weird. I'm trying not to say I'm weird, but I am weird. And the things I could come up in this mind is just, oh my goodness, I can't tell it to nobody. <laughs> because y'all might looking at, be looking at me, but, 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 
just a little, a little, a little, a little hand clap to the prophets. Amen. <laughs> now, now you could be worried for some uh, some reasons. Right. Some some real. Some, you just you just just whether you, how you grew up, some culture. You just you just grew up. Some families grew up different. You know, just just different. But they got a certain weirdness that prophets uh, uh, seem to have. They don't float to the same boat that everybody else floats. You know, we walking like this, the prophet like that. The prophet like this. The prophet like that. You know, he, he just everywhere. But if you look through the weirdness, if you look through the mess, Brother George, Mr. George, there's some truth in what them prophets be saying. <laughs> Because what Zechariah was saying, it didn't even look right. It didn't even sound right what he was saying. You know, because believe it, this was written before it happened, Minister Sam. And then if you look back in the future, it did happen. <coughs> but back to that. You're, t- take it easy on the prophets, though. Take it easy on the prophets. Amen. But when I was reading this about fleeing, you know, this famous scripture had come to my, my mind. You know, in 2 Timothy 2.22, it says, flee youthful lust. Yes. If you got some, some lust just, just building up, if you got some lust just, just, just all, all stuck up in you, and you feel that thing pulling you to a certain direction, flee. Yes. Run. Yes. Leave your shoes. Yes. What, 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 what Joseph did, he left his jacket and everything. He said, I ain't even trying to do this. Some things that God tell you to flee. Flee. Also, (laughs) y'all remember Lot's wife, huh? (laughs) The Bible says, remember Lot's wife. Why the Bible say remember Lot's wife? That means you should remember it too. Remember what happened to her when she looked back? She turned into a pillar of salt. Sometimes if you if you looking uh, 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 too much while you're fleeing, while you're trying to listen to what God is telling you, you're not going to turn into a pillar of salt, but you're going to be a pillar of something. Yes. <laughs> you're going to be a pillar of something. I, some, some things I can't say up here. You don't want to turn into that pillar of salt, my people. Whatever that means. So God is telling them to flee also. Flee, flee, flee. What else, what else are you saying? Oh, Lord. In, in, in verse 7, or well, verse 6, the rest of it says, For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, said the Lord. And all this means is when he said the four winds of heaven is the four corners of the earth. Now that y'all know the earth is flat, four corners mean a little bit more different thing. So, so what he is saying, I spread you all over this flat earth. And the first word in that scripture call, he says, I did it. <laughs> he says, I did it. Which brings me to my point six. We're going to talk about providence a little bit. I'm, try, I'm, I'm going to try not to go too, too deep. But I, 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 I'm going to have to give it justice, y'all. Y'all have heard this uh, uh, scientific uh, monster of a word uh, between providence and, and the sovereignty of God. These are some deep uh, things. They, 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 they sound very difficult, and they are very difficult to understand. I remember they had this book, A.W. Pink, The Sovereignty of God. When y'all get a chance, get that book. But y'all read it slow. So take about six years to read it. <laughs> but the way they wrote was on another level, Miss Mary. So that's why it's kind of difficult to read. But anything, The Sovereignty of God, you got to know about The Sovereignty of God. But also you got to know this other mountain, Providence. And when I look at this, God is saying, I, <coughs> I have spread you as the four corners of heaven, said the Lord. I asked myself, Frankie, Minister Frankie, I said myself, what that mean? <laughs> I looked at that long time. I said, why does that, under- it captured my attention and I couldn't understand why he phrased it like that, Melville, why he said that. And when I looked at it, I looked at that eye, and I thought about some, Mr. John. Jesus being the author and the finisher of our faith, Ms. Lynn. So what are you saying? I did this? So, so 
I'm the one, I'm the author, I could finish it, huh? So I did it, I could finish it. <laughs> I spread you all across this earth, all across this world. I, put, I, I had a, a, a providential purpose to do this stuff. I did it so I can finish it. Yes, sir. Right. You know, we, we say this all the time. The Lord is authoring to finish our faith, sisters. But do we believe it? We, we stuck in some stuff right now. We, we, we got ourselves in some stuff. We want some stuff to happen. Well, we're not looking at the, the finisher of our faith. We, we know he can start it. We know he's given us something to do. We know he's given us a, a, a calling to do, a thing to do. And it don't make sense how that's going to happen. But you're not trusting him as the finisher. <laughs> you see, in this Bible, it says that <laughs> he, 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 he is the one started. He's the one, that, the beginning. You don't think he know the end? You see, he's looking at it from a different uh, angle, a different standpoint. He's looking at it like from an airplane where he sees everything. You see, we see what's in front of us, but God sees it from the beginning and the end. So we got to trust when we're reading this. I, God says I, the Lord says I can. We got to trust that he can finish it. He going to finish that that healing. He going to finish that deliverance. He going to finish what God said he's going to do to you. And tonight he's going to finish that salvation. He's going to finish tonight. The, the day, the day going to be the day of salvation for the people who haven't accepted Jesus Christ tonight. Because he says he has started you. He, he, he brought you here tonight. So he's going to finish the work. And we got to trust it. Even though we don't believe it. Even though we don't feel it. Even though we don't have goosebumps. Even though we, we're not jumping around and hopping. He's going to finish that tonight. And for those that believe in you praying for that to happen. But those that don't believe in Christ, tonight is going to be that finishing point. I'm not talking about the finishing point and that's it. I'm talking about the finishing uh, of your life before Christ and the beginning of your life after Christ, which is a great beginning. I'm telling you all, man, this life is, is, is something, man. This life is something. But we can know that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Do you know he's willing and able? You're not messing with no puny guy. Y'all right. hear this uh, the saying, y'all hear a lot of people say it when they're praying the most high. Is there anybody above the most high? Is there anything the most tis is high? I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying that right now. I know I'm not saying it right, but there's nothing above the most high, uh, Minister Sam. That's right. So you're not messing with no puny guy, Chris. You're not messing with no little uh, 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 fake God. You're not uh, messing with no, no God of, uh, of a false religion, but the God of this Bible that's real. Amen. <laughs> that is all knowing and all potent, all powerful. He's sovereign way. That means he's the rule of everything. Y'all know them sovereign kings? There's not no democracy. There's no, uh, 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 the people going to choose. No, no. When there's a king in charge, what the king says, it's going to happen. And that's what we're dealing with, a king. He's in sovereign control, my people. Now that we know he's sovereign, let me give you a definition of providence. Let me give you a definition of providence. Y'all see I got my tea? That's tea, y'all. That's legal. That's to keep me calm if I need it, y'all. Right. You laughing? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. My throat is parched. But let me give you a definition. I, 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 the first one I seen was our, our partner, Tony Evans. Yes. And he, he gave a great definition of providence. And he says, Lord, I pray I can read my own handwriting. <laughs> I should have printed or typed it, Minister Sam. Uh, he says, the way God arranges things to achieve his sovereign purpose. <laughs> Sovereignty is his rulership. Yes. Providence is how he hooks things up, integrates things, connects things, yeah, yeah. detaches things, and arranges things yeah, yeah. for what? In order to end up at, a, at the sovereign goal to which he is moving towards. Let me read that again. I think y'all need to read. I should have had it up, but I didn't send it to Brent. But let me read it again. Providence is the way God arranges things to achieve a, to achieve a sovereign purpose. 
the way he places things, the way he put things in existence, the way he, he connects the dots to achieve a, perfect, a, 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 a purpose that he first commissioned. <laughs> That's how me. That's amazing, huh? <clears throat> Sovereignty is his rulership. Providence is how he hooks things up, <laughs> integrate things, connect things, detaches things, and arranges things in order to end up at the sovereign goal to which he is moving towards. Boy, that's, that's good, eh? I, I could go home now, y'all. Man. So providence is the arrangement that facilitates sovereignty. <laughs> sovereignty says this, and, 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 and his providence uh, administers what has been said from up on high. You know, I, 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 let, let me explain some how things work in Philadelphia. A lot of things God, God speaks to our, our bishop, yeah. Pastor Omar, yeah. Bishop Omar. And he's a visionary. If anybody been around him, he's a visionary. And you can see how he preaches. You can listen to how he talks. A little, a little secret how things run. God give it to our pastor, Bishop. Bishop hands it to First Lady. And she is the feet of the ministry. She, <laughs> the vision come from there and the feet. So this is, this, this is how God works. God says one thing, Daphne. And, and, and providence does another thing, Kyle. It makes what he says from his sovereign rulership, from his sovereign throne, come into existence. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's now, 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 how it come into existence, we want it to go a certain way. I'm, heading my, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. We want it to go how we think it should go. But, but, but God uses, uh, like I said earlier, God using, uses evil <coughs> to fulfill a great purpose. God uses everything. God don't waste nothing. When you see something happening, you look back and you be like, what God up to? When you see, Miss Lou, when you see it, whether it feel good, whether it make you mad, whether it make you angry, whether it just don't make sense, I don't understand, God is still up to something, my people. You got to stop putting God in a box. God, God is not going to do uh, 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 this like that, that, that. Sometimes God do this and then he back up. And then he go back again and he start over again. Sometimes he reverse. Sometimes he go fast. Sometimes he jump on it. Sometimes he break it. Sometimes he punch it. Look, God gonna get what he said. Uh, it says. <laughs> you gotta know if God spoke to you something in your life, you gotta know that He is gonna make it happen. Whether you 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 have it uh, uh, all in order, Kent. Whether you have everything in place. Whether every button is is in the right order. Isn't that God don't work like that? Providence don't work like that. And you got to know that. You can look back, man, I'm ahead of myself. You can look back at your life. And when you look back at your life, Josh and Lincoln, and you can see, oh, look what God did. I, I, yeah, I would have never thought God would have fixed it that way. I would have never thought God would have healed me that way. I would have never thought I would have got delivered this way. Let me tell you a story. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it say names, but I'm gonna just say the say the story. This, this young lady got favor, man. Woo, favor, 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 favor. You get promoted, Lord, so much. But she told me a story. I prayed she's not getting mad. I, I got permission to do that. I'm gonna just say it faith, yes. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. But anyway, she wanted to get a position, and she rightfully deserved it. <laughs> but the person on top of her, Ms. Mary, didn't want to promote her. Wow. Whether it was Hayden, whether she he just, you know, just didn't want to see nobody younger than him or a female above him, but you know, hey. So look what God did. And I'm showing you an example of providence, baby, Minister Brian. <laughs> God promoted the, the, the person that was on top of her to another part of the, uh, the, uh, the company. And God put in place somebody that was willing to hire her. Come on. Wow. <laughs> and she got promoted. Actually, the, 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 the person that God put in place to hire her, to promote her, want to promote her high, even higher than her. Like, there's no uh, 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 hate, there's no, just no, no bad ill motives. Yes, sir. 
the providence of God. God can do this. You see, you see, hold on. Man, it's a saying. We thank God, brother, brother John. A lot of people think God playing chess. I mean checkers. You know, you think, think God doing like this. Oh, that's it. But you, did you know God know how to play chess? Real good? You see, God, God, God make one move, but he got six moves in his mind. He said, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to make this happen. Y'all got some stuff happening in your life right now. Amen, amen. It, it don't make sense. Come on, it don't make sense. It, you, he got it like that. He's doing like that to us. You want it to be upright. upright. But he's doing this to us. <laughs> it just don't make sense. He's doing this. He's covering it. You, You're looking at God like, man, what's wrong with you? But, but you got to trust God that he have it under control. You see, we talk about we believe in God for this, we believe in God for that, but are we really trusting him? Do we really believe he got our life under control? <laughs> you don't think God could, uh, could, could fix something that's broken? You, you don't think God could fix something that is, just seems like it can't be fixed? There's no way this stuff can be fixed. There's no way these things can happen. You don't think God could fix it. You don't think God could do that. Oh, shati, baby. Oh, shit. God could do it. God could do it. <sighs> just, just, just a little quick in and out. What, what was his reason for scattering us? Scattering us all over the four corners. One of the main reasons was to spread the gospel. Hey, they, they, had, they had some people like, you know, that just don't care. They has, you don't think they had some Hebrews in, in Babylon preaching to them heathens? Come on now. <laughs> you don't think they had some, 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 some of them Hebrews out there preaching about Christ, preaching about the word? You don't think they had somebody that still giving Bible studies in the face of death? You don't think they had somebody doing that? But furthermore, they was all over this earth. Yes, sir. We could see God's hand all over this earth. Four corners of north, south. East and West. Yeah. What, that was one reason why we were scattered. Or why should I say he scattered? Yes, he. He. In his, in his providential ways. Uh, to increase our faith in him. See, sometimes God, some of y'all right now, God is telling y'all to go somewhere. God is telling y'all right now, he wants you to another part of this world. <laughs> Some of y'all right now, he's, people, he's, he's whispering in your sleep, or somebody's coming to talk to you, you're going to be in here, you're going to be in there, you're going to be there. Some of y'all, he, he wants y'all in other parts of the United States. Amen. He want to scatter you. <laughs> now, 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 whether you listen, or whether he got to scatter you himself, <laughs> all right, you listen. Because guess what, he, he going he gonna, to, he gonna, Miss Louie, go put, put some fire to you. You're going to make things on, like, like, like when, 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 when a mother bird wants a, a, a little bird to fly, he make that nest uncomfortable. You put, you put twigs to where that little bird gets stuck all the time. You're going to fly. He's going he gonna to stick you. Some of y'all getting stick right now. We need people at these other ministries. Not only, not only brother citizen, not only our ministries, but we need ministries all over this world. We need God to spread this, this, this truth about Jesus Christ and, and who his people is and other, in Europe. And, and Russia might be, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't think Putin gonna give you a little something? What they say about Putin, that's, that's, that, new, that's, that, that's that mess, y'all. That's that mess. It just, just some things about what they're saying about him is just not lining up. I'm talking about some untrue stuff. But he wants you in other parts of this earth, my people. And also, he, 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 he want to show not only the heathen, <laughs> not only the unbelievers, not only the people that disapprove what's going on in his kingdom, but he want to prove to them that he is real and alive. 
And when you look at uh, 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 how your life happened, some of y'all could witness how y'all got to Philadelphia. Some of y'all, I had to sign y'all papers for community service. But God got you that way, but you stayed. Or you made a bet, or, or you, you liked a young lady, or like a little man that came to Philly, so I'm gonna act like I, like, I know Jesus, but, but Jesus got a little more uh, sense than you. <laughs> Jesus a little more slick. You don't, you don't think uh, uh, another, another Hebrew know about another Hebrew? I know y'all. I made y'all, so y'all, you don't think I know y'all slick ways? I might slick you. You come here for another purpose, you're gonna leave here with another purpose. I miss, I miss Lynn. <laughs> amen, amen. God is so amazing. Some of y'all came in here to do harm. <laughs> Whatever that mean. Whatever that mean. But God harmed you with that gospel. <laughs> Remember that gospel, man. Look, look. You don't think the, the gospel has a, 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 his providential hand in it? That gospel going to get out there. Not only going to get out there, it's going to work. Amen. It's going to fulfill its purpose, and that's to get you saved. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I got some more. I'm going to leave, okay, I'm going to leave with your favorite scripture. I taught from this scripture. And you say, ooh, that's my favorite scripture. <laughs> so I thought about you. You know, everybody know this. Romans is 828. Everybody know. But this is, this is an expl explanation in its simplest form of providence also. And we know. As believers, after tonight, we gonna know that God is in control. Amen. He says, and we know all things, good, bad, <laughs> painful, uh, uh, joyful, all things, Minister Sam, all things, whether you can think of it or not. All things work together. Yes. Together. Miss Lou, you know. Those that bake, if you go eat some of them products by themselves, you go eat a stick of butter, you go eat some flour by yourself, boy, you, you're going you're gonna to make a gas face. Your face is going to look sour. But all together, Miss Lou, mm, them brownies, that pecan candy, you know, that, that bunt cake. I even heard they got cinnamon roll cake. Well, I had it a long time ago, but somebody could come up and make it again. Like Minister Sam, so I say, Minister Sam, what type of, uh, what type of uh, sweets you like? Anything with sugar? <laughs> I say, I understand, I understand, I understand. But look, all things, Miss Lou. Not one thing, not one good thing with a bunch of good things, but one good thing with a bad thing. One way, one area. One thought. Look, sometimes God can change your thoughts to put you in a certain spot. That's right. Come on. <laughs> sometimes God could give you a thought that you had you was going through these gates and God said, go this way. Amen. Did you know sometimes God stopped your car from working? Did you know sometimes you, God, God hide your keys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, boy, I could <laughs> Sometimes God give you a flat, Josh. <laughs> Sometimes God make a person do something to you, but it's to get you where he needs you. I'm, I'm, I'm in college, Chavis. I'm, 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 I'm taking marketing classes. Now, Lord knows, Brother Sam, I hate public speaking. I don't want to be in front of nobody. Since now, I, I avoid yet to take communications because you're in marketing. Now, marketing, all you do is presentations. All you do is PowerPoints. All you, but this, I, 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 I joined it because I heard it's the easiest curriculum. When they say easy, I say, I got it. <laughs> but little did I know God was setting me up. Amen, amen. Hey, man, well, God was setting me up. He said, I got something for you. I got something for you. I'm going to make you love, I'm going to make you love researching. I'm going to make you love reading because I couldn't pass none of my tests unless I read. I would go in class and pay attention, but one, on, unless I read them, 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 them chapters, I would pass my test. Yep. Not only that, God had me in front of people talking. Amen. 
Scared. I have more answers than this. Scared, 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 Malvo. I, that was some torture, brother. But little did I know God was setting me up, Josh. <laughs> he knew I was going to be up here teaching. So he, he equipped me with some things back then. I thought I was going to do one other thing, but he was equipping me, kid. He, he was working all things. And I could, I could sit here and tell you numerous stories about me being in college, how God did something that would benefit me now. Not only that, he made me start seeing my bishop. Me and my cousin would see Pastor Umar. We never knew him, but we always said to myself, you said that's a cool dude. It's a nice dude, man. We would say, he would wave at us, we, we never knew each other. And little did I know God was uh, uh, tweaking my heart to have a, a, a love for a man I didn't know. A, 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 a loyalty to a man, like some, something, something to write about that. Little did I know that Iola, I'd be cool with Iola, me and my cousin Chris Iola in college, we was, we was real cool partners. Lord saved me, Iola said, come to a Bible study. And when I showed up to that Bible study, that same man I was waving at was teaching that Bible study. Hey, Ken. Are you see God's providence? See God's providence? I'm looking at some of y'all married couples or some couples right now. How y'all met? How y'all met? How y'all met? Yeah. You could look at back of your life and see <laughs> how, how God lick you up with that brother in Christ as a friend, as a partner, someone to, to, to disciple you, someone to, 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 to move you along. Yeah. God doing chess, my people. Yeah. How you got that job? How you got that job? You're in a job, it just don't make sense. You're not really qualified for the job. You're not qualified to do these things, but God got you right there. It don't even make sense. I've heard of people, Miss Mary, Miss Lou, I've heard of people telling this, this exact thing, Minister Sam. He said, I don't know why I'm promoting you, but I'm promoting you. Yeah, I know why you're promoting me. Because God want me here. It don't even make sense. Did you know people, God could make somebody do something that is against their will towards you? God could make them people give you some chips and dip. God could make you give them, uh, I don't know why I'm giving you this car. I don't, it's just a coincidence that I had another car and I got a, good, a better deal with this other car so you can have this car. And guess what? I'm going to give it to you for free. Providence of God, my people. But he also says, for the good of them that love God. <laughs> to them who are called according to his purpose. <laughs> a lot of us have our purposes uh, lined up. A lot of us have our purposes in our heart. We have it written down. But the wrong thing about that Malvo is you forget about God. <laughs> God say acknowledge him in all your ways. We, we doing all kind of stuff. We have all kind of plans, but we don't have God in the mix. You, 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 <laughs> look what you're doing. You, you're making a blueprint. You're making notes. You're making things. And you say, God, look at this. All right, I got it. That's what you're telling God. Well, what you're not doing with God, Kent, is you, you're making a blueprint. You got plans, and then you're not bringing it to God. Review that. And if you got to change some things, I'm cool with it. Come on, that's it. That's it right there. That's it. This is how you deal with God. You got your plans? Make plans. Make blueprints. What, what, what construction worker don't build a house <laughs> without no blueprints? That house going to be crooked, Frankie. And I ain't going to say where I saw that happen, but I remember a guy, I said, man, where are your blueprints for this? He wrote on a sheet of paper, he'd do it like that. I said, okay. <laughs> when I went look at that, 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 when I went look down that hall, that hall was like that. <laughs> And this is how your life is going to end up if you don't let God review your plans. How many of us are You're giving God permission to do what he wants. So a lot of us have believed in God and have faith in God to do big things and do great things and do grand things, but we take God out of the mix. We're telling God, this is what you're going to do, God. Wow. <laughs> and God laughing at you, boy, you're crazy, boy. You're crazy, boy. Well, do it. Sometimes he lets you do it. And look how amazing God is, Frankie. He lets you do it, and he still fix it to how he wants it. 
Boy, that's, that's a good God, huh? God takes some stuff that you intentionally mess up. You say you're going into that foreign country. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut up. And all you do is run into Jesus in the club. Oh. God, now I can't cut up. Now I can't cut up. But look how amazing it is. He turned a clubber <laughs> into a preacher. <laughs> you know? And I'm telling my testimony because that happened to me. But I don't care how, you, how much you think you're in control of your life. I'd rather, be my, I'd rather let my life be in control than somebody that knows everything. Amen. All knowing. Amen. <laughs> Omniscient. Omnipotent. All powerful can do it. Whatever you want. Magicians, you can come on up. I made it through. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. But look. In that scripture in Romans 8.28, it says, for those who love God. <laughs> That's the catch. <laughs> That's the caveat. <laughs> if you want God to work those things out, to be in providentially, can, put, let me, to be in control of your life providentially. Yes. I think I said it right. Yes. If you want God to do that, <laughs> your life got to line up with his. <laughs> I'm talking about having peace with your God, your maker. You see, for those who are not in Christ, you are at enmity with God. What that means, you are an enemy of God. Yes. And I don't know about y'all. I re I'd rather be an enemy with anybody else but God, frankly. <laughs> I, I, everybody could be an enemy to more of me, but God? Come on, man. That don't even make sense. But tonight is that chance for you to be right with God. To be at peace with God. Not only to be at peace with God, but put him in control of your life. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he's going to never fail you and he's going to never forsake you, my people. He's not a liar. And it's real simple, my people. A, you got to admit. My life is out of control. My life is a mess. I've tried it my way. It's just not working. Be a big man. Be a big woman. I tried it my way, God. But I'm ready to give up the reins. I can admit when I, I've done wrong. And I, I don't have to sit here and charge y'all, jump down your throat, and say what you're not doing is right. What you're doing is not right, should I say. I'm sorry. You know that thing. You know that begetting sin. You know that little thing that you keep hidden and covered. But let me tell you something. You can't hide nothing from God. He knows. He knows. Even if you're stuck and you want to get out and you can't get out, he's going to give you the strength and the faith to believe what I'm saying from this pulpit is true. And what is true is B. You got to believe that Jesus Christ did die for your sins and came on this earth for you. If he ain't did it for nobody else, he did it for you, you, you personally. That's the type of God we serve, a personal God. Yes. He died for you. When he, he, he put them nails, when they put those nails through his hand, when they, they cut them in his side, he was thinking about you. Yes. And, and one of my, my favorite scriptures when I, taught, when I, when I, when I looked at it and I, and I thought about it, and it's, it still affects me today. It says, Christ died for the ungodly, Miss Lynn. <laughs> I mean, you died for me when I was cutting up? Yes. So if you're cutting up, if you're doing some things that's not right with God tonight, you can make it right. Because Christ died for those things. Thank Christ you. died for you. Thank you and then see, you got to confess. And the only thing that confession does is confirm what you believe. Confirm what you ask him God to give you belief in. And it, remember, it's not the prayer, but it's the God you're praying to. And what you're asking him tonight is for him to save you. 
And what's going to happen when you ask him to save you is things are going to fall in line for you. First of all, your relationship with him is going to be correct. Secondly, he's going to start lining up stuff in your life providentially. He's going to start taking care of things uh, 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 you've been wanting to take care of for all your life, but now that you are his child, thirdly, you're going to have purpose now. Remember that scripture of Romans 8, 28? <laughs> his purpose? You're going to have purpose. I don't know about y'all. I live a little different life when I find out I have purpose in life. Not only purpose in Christ and worth in Christ, but I had a particular calling, a particular arise, a particular purpose in my life that I found out. Not only that I, 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 I wanted to do, not only what he wanted me to do, but when he called me for that purpose, he made my heart sensitive to what his purpose was. He made me fall in love with his purpose. And I'm talking about God. So everybody in the sound of my voice, put eyes down. Repeat after me. Dear God, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I've done wrong. I've been unrighteous. I've broke the law on earth and in heaven. I'm sorry. Dear Lord, save me. Make me new. Give me a new heart. Holy Spirit, fill me up. Give me purpose. Dear Lord, I believe that you have saved me tonight. So Lord, you take the reins and control my life. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for praying for me. I'm going to rest now, y'all. But, uh, Y'all just think about that word providence, man, and its sovereignty. And uh, maybe one day I'll give a whole sermon just on those two things. It's, I, I, I know I didn't justify, but I pray y'all got a little understanding of what it's. So let me uh, send y'all off with a benediction. And y'all keep my dad in prayer. And for all the family members in Philly that uh, have a family member or going through some things themselves, y'all keep each other in prayer, y'all. Lord, I thank you for my people there, Lord. I thank you for the attentive ear. Thank you for their prayers. Father God, I pray that, Father God, because they come and sought, they came and sought you tonight, dear Lord, that you would reward them diligently, Father God. And Father God, they would have some things corrected, Father God. They would have some things fall in line, dear Lord. They would get provision, dear Lord. They would have those prodigal sons and daughters come back, dear Lord, into this kingdom, dear Lord. So Father God, Put a hedge of protection on their way back home. Keep them in the streets. And I pray that their home will be better than when they left it, Father God. So everybody, I say thank you, dear Lord. And I want to say all these things in Jesus' name. Love y'all. Y'all be safe.